Hey guys, what's up? Uh, just thought I'd do a quick update video. Got a couple new things, or actually just one new thing right now on the Buell, um, back from the Dragon. I'll get into that in a later video. Um, just story time kind of thing. No no footage of, of actually riding the Dragon, but um, anyhow, uh, let me uh, switch up and I'm gonna show you what I've done. So while I was at the Dragon, um, I was uh, riding and hit this divot in the road and I heard this loud sprung. I thought my wheel broke. It's fine. It ended up being the front mount on the engine. So what do you do when your front engine mount breaks? Well, you contact one of your Buell buddies who happens to be making polyurethane front uh, mounts. So he was cool enough to uh, send me his prototype and uh, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it, you know, disassembled, looking at it, but you can kind of make out the polyurethane kind of glimmering right there. And um, just wanted to report essentially that this thing is working great. Um, sends a few more vibes through the bike, but you know, I'm happy with it. Just a quick side note, uh, while at the Dragon, this uh, clutch cable uh, protective sleeve was kind of looking like crusty bacon and um, so that's what the aluminum tape is supposed to do I have to work out a new mount that is a homemade mount the factory mount broke for the clutch cable I need to make another one something better um, you can see the zip ties kind of forcing it further away um, it's barely got a fingers width between it and the uh, header there so Anyways, I am uh, just doing a quick update, really, guys. That's it. I mean, don't have a lot to report to y'all. So, yeah. Um, I guess I could tell you more about the mount. Let me just do that. Uh, it's good. Factory fit, as you can see. Um, it might be slightly higher than, well, you can see there's still a gap between the uh, frame and the mount, as there should be. I don't know that there's an exact spacing that's supposed to be. I don't know if it's supposed to be right in the middle, but I don't know. It seems to be fine. Everything looks good in there. Nothing's, you know, going awry. It sends a few more vibes through the chassis, the frame, sorry. And um, I guess that's to be expected with polyurethane. I'm okay with it. Some people may not like it, but, you know, it's all good for me. I will say this. I never expected the frame to do this, but the bike shifts better and in turns it handles better. I guess that part makes sense because it's more rigidly mounting the engine, which is a stressed member of the whole bike. Um, so it's, it's providing more feedback. I can feel more of what's going on below me. I feel very confident in turns and that's what these Shinko tires I've got. And that's I'm going to do a follow-up video on these post-Dragon. I have a lot to talk about there. But anyhow, that's really it, guys. Short video. Um, I'm happy. It's a good mount. And hopefully, um, you'll see more of these out there. If you're a Buell rider and you're in need of a mount, these should be hitting the forums very soon. I'll post links to forum threads that... Uh, are involving this mount as well as um, the old telegram group that I have so you can join if you're interested in, in learning more about Buells and connecting up with other Buell riders. That's it folks. That's it. Until next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.